It's February 2nd. I'm Yona Hockhauser, and this is Geek It, your daily dose of tech news headlines. Today, we're looking at a new Xbox adapter for the handicapped, USB C's for everyone, and more. Let's do it. Geek It. In the best news you'll hear today, the new Xbox adapter lets people turn their power wheelchairs into game controllers. Called the Freedom Wing Adapter, the box connects the Xbox adaptive controller to a wheelchair through its 9-pin port. This means a joystick could control that controls a wheelchair every day can be turned into a controller, which is particularly useful for people who are already used to their joysticks and buttons. It'll cost about $35, which is cheaper than a regular Xbox controller. They even have grants available for the disabled who can't afford one. Geek it. For the longest time, getting repairs for an Apple device as an everyday user has usually meant either visiting a store which sucks because lugging around a heavy iMac to the mall is no fun. That's about to change if you live in the right city. Apple is now offering on-site services in a handful of U.S. cities, including Chicago, Dallas, Houston, Los Angeles, New York City, and San Francisco. Unfortunately, you still have to go to the store for all your iPhone issues, like a cracked screen or battery replacement, but you're probably bringing those with you every time you go to the mall anyway, so no biggie. Thanks, Apple. Geek good. Do you hate when your phone is dying, but no one has the cord that your phone uses? Well, so does the EU Parliament. They voted 582 to 40 to require manufacturers to make a standard charging cable for all phones. Most indications are that they will settle on the USB-C standard, as it is very capable and pretty ubiquitous already. Essentially, the only company not using USB-C already is the Apple with their iPhones. They use USB-C for their MacBooks, though, but it serves them right. Apple is charging crazy amounts for their accessories for too long. That wraps up today's edition of Geek It. Until tomorrow, check us out on Twitter at geek underscore it underscore news. See ya.